All right, hello, Scorpion. Let me just, okay. All right, hi, Scorpion. Welcome back to my channel. This is your next 48 episode seven and eight for Scorpion. Sun, moon, rising, and the north node. Surprisingly, I have nothing for you, Claire, audiently, Scorpion. All right. Let's just see what the important messages are for you the next 48, October 7 and 8. All right. So I'm hearing like nothingness, nothing is going on. You're kind of waiting. I feel like you're waiting to the end of the month for something to pop off or you're waiting for the weekend. All right, let's see. Like you're bored something's boring all right let's see scorpion okay we have the we have the prince the princess of cups okay so here you are so i see i feel like you're watching something or you're listening to something or you're like completely mesmerized by someone or something or someone's voice all right so i feel like you can't take your eyes off of something something is really holding your attention wow so I, I feel like it's someone's eyes. First of all, I feel like you're looking at a photo of somebody, like their eyes are very captivating, beautiful, bright, big. I'm also getting that you're looking in the mirror. I'm, I'm getting like eye drops. You're putting eye drops in your eye or you're doing something to your eyes. I'm getting eye makeup or face or facial makeup or facial recognition. All right, but I'm getting like eye to eye contact, beautiful, like gorgeous eyes, big, bright, and beautiful. So I'm getting a baby boss possibly. We have the tower card and then we have, wow, the justice. All right, so I'm, I'm getting something about your vision. All of a sudden your, your vision is blurred or you can't see. All right, so I'm, I'm getting you maybe have to get your eyes checked or there's something wrong with your eye. There's something in your eye or there's something significant about someone's eyes here, about your eyes. All right, what's the, what's the tower card? I feel like I'm getting to you're really looking into something. You're, you're researching something really deeply. I'm getting you're going to discover something really mind-blowing. All right, because I, I feel like you're really deep in the rabbit hole. You're really reading something or you're talking to someone. I feel like somebody's enlightening you. They're blowing your mind or you're reading something that is fucking mind-blowing. Yeah, we have the tower card. I'm getting this could be about the justice system or the law or something about a Libran. All right, what's the tower? Yeah, we have the magician. A lot of major arcana is coming out, so I'm getting this week is a big deal or something major is going to happen this week. All right. Yeah, so I'm getting major action is being taken. So I'm getting I'm getting a big building or a corporation. All right, what's, what's the tower card in the, in, the, in the magician? So I'm getting a courthouse. Or a law firm. Okay, the Tower card, the Magician, please. The Nine of Swords. Okay, so I feel like you're worried about a court case or you're worried about a ruling or you're worried about going to jail or being caught or being charged. Okay, so I feel like you don't really have anything to say. You don't want to do shit. You don't want to talk to nobody. All you can think about is this court case or going to jail or being in jail or somebody else being locked up. Or All right, what's the, what is the Justice card, please? I'm also getting too, it's like somebody here is worried about somebody else getting out, possibly a baby boss. Yeah, we have the sun card. Okay, so a lot. Okay, so it doesn't matter what's happening during the first couple, like 48 hours here. Something's going to turn out really well. It looks like you're paranoid about something that you don't have to be paranoid about. What's this for? Scorpion. Yeah, so you're worried about something. You're scared. Don't be worried about it. I feel like it's going to turn out really well. Something that you're dreading is actually going to be something for you to celebrate. I'm getting the solution to all your problems, major karmic justice here. All right, so this is this is looking really similar to uh, Leo's reading. So I feel, like you, I feel like you could be working side by side with a Leo. Both of you guys are nervous. I feel like they don't want to take the opportunity. Neither do you or both of you guys should share the same fear here. Maybe just being on stage or being in the public eye or speaking or... All right, what is, the, what is the high priestess? It's almost it's almost like you're afraid of okay, the king of swords are, but here you are. I'm getting okay, so you're having a professional conversation or you're speaking about someone or something. Yeah, we have the eight of cups. All right, so I'm getting forgiveness. All right, so I feel like you're I feel like you're letting something go. Something is being resolved. You're finding a solution. Everybody seems to be happier. So something is working out. It's gonna be a great week. 
Yeah, so you're coming to a, you're you're coming to a common ground with someone. Something that you were worried about. This could just be commu communicating with a person or just doing something. It's gonna turn out really good. Yeah, with the world card. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting before you know it, it's over. So this could be surgery as well, laser eye surgery or something like that. Or maybe you have to get like a limb removed. But I'm I am getting surgery here or something like that. Court. All right, something is making you nervous, but I, I feel like you have to show up for this, or you you know you you need to do this. Okay, high priestess and the king of swords. Yeah, the hangman. I'm getting I'm getting to you need to uh, like do what you do what you don't want to do right now, so you can do what you want to do later. I'm getting like you don't really want to do it. You're dreading it. Just do it and get it over with. All right, I'm getting I'm getting the more you do today, the less you have to do tomorrow. Okay, you don't have to do everything today. You can take a break, but I'm getting, you get most of the, the bulk of the work done this week or done right now. You'll have to do less later. All right, you'll have more free time. Okay, but I'm getting like, it's, all right, what is the, uh, what is the Princess of Cups and the Eight of Cups? Yeah, because I feel like the long, I feel like you are prolonging a situation because you're afraid of reaching out or you're afraid to speak to someone or you're afraid of asking for forgiveness or you're afraid of letting something go. I feel like you are prolonging the situation be because you refuse to speak up or you're, you're afraid or something. All right, what's the five of swords? Yeah, the four of wands. Okay. Yeah, because I'm getting like you're afraid of competition. Is that that's kind of what I'm getting? You're afraid of competition, or you're afraid that you're not a that you're not a, a, a formidable adversary. I feel like you are, or you're afraid that you're afraid that you're. I feel like you're afraid that you're going to have to compete, or something is getting too competitive. All right, this, of course, this could be athleticism with the wands here, but. I don't think you have to worry about this. I think you're paranoid. I'm getting like, like like with the world card showing up, you have your place in the world. You have your place at an organization. All right, you're fine. You don't have to worry about competition. Or, I feel like you have seniority somewhere or something that you're doing is, a, is firmly established, okay? Or something is in the bag, okay? Let's see the sun card, three of cups. Yeah, the three of swords. Yeah, so because I feel like you're worried that someone's lying to you or someone's tricking you or something's not going to work out. It's not going to happen. That's not true. I feel like you're being paranoid and you're making assumptions. Somebody is going to come through. It may take them a while to get back to you. They could be busy doing something. They could be moving. They could be going through a crisis. Who knows? All right, I'm getting stop assuming, stop being paranoid. Okay, something's going to work out fine. I'm getting like, stop thinking that everybody's out to get you. They're not. I feel like somebody honestly wants to give you justice or they want to help you. I'm getting three threes. Yeah, double, yeah, triple Jupiter communications. Okay, so you could have, you could have Saturn in your third house. It makes you afraid of communicating. It makes you, it makes you afraid of communicating in front of a large audience. Okay, it makes you being afraid of being on TV, shit like that. But you could have uh, Saturn in your third house or Saturn in, uh, Saturn in Gemini, Gemini North Node. So I'm getting like a lot of your lessons, your fear is your, your fear is centered around communicating or communicating in front of people, being in the spotlight. All right, so I'm getting like if you face your fear, you're going to be greatly rewarded. That's the whole point. All right. Yeah, so I'm getting Jupiter is, I'm getting like you're, you're really lucky. All right, something's going to be a nine of pentacles. You, you're going to do well. Yeah, we have the queen of wands. All right, so I'm getting you have to get your footing or you have to like, you know, you have to get your feet wet a little bit. I'm getting once you get the hang of something, it's second nature. You feel really confident. You feel good. So I'm getting it's your first time on stage or it's your first time performing in a long time. You're kind of sitting here waiting for your turn, or this could be like a this could be a match athleticism. I feel like you're really nervous. You got you know bubble guts and shit like that. You're gonna do fine. Just take a chill pill, breathe, drink some water, okay? All right, more cards for Scorpion, please. That was a very short reading, but it was really cut and dry. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting, get used to being on stage or get used to being in front of people. Or get used to people having, uh, get used to people differing, uh, having a difference in opinion. It's just an opinion. It's fine. Yeah, we have, uh, we have palmistry interpretation. Yeah. So I'm, I'm getting Scorpion, the way that you interpret something or the way that you do something, it's very unique to you. You don't have to prove yourself to anyone. You don't have to be like anybody else. You don't have to do it like anybody else. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to interpret it like anybody else. Put your own spin, put your own spin on some shit. All right. 
Because I'm getting when you try to be like somebody else or when you try to do it somebody else's way, you lose who you are or it, you, it, it loses its originality or freshness or, all right, I feel, like, I feel like something loses its luster because you're trying to be like somebody else or, yeah, or something like that. I'm getting do shit your own way. Interpret it. Yeah, we have clarity. Yeah, so I'm getting, you need to, I'm getting you need to find your niche or you have found your niche. Put your own spin on it. There's no right, there's no right or wrong way to do this is kind of what I'm, uh, is what I'm seeing here. I'm getting you have enough experience to kind of wing it. All right, yeah, we have all many. Yeah, this going, I'm getting a week full of coincidences. A lot of coincidences happening. Okay, a lot of ominous events. All right, irony. Okay. Yeah, so I'm getting, I'm getting, yeah, sweet karmic justice here. You're happy. It looks like somebody else is heartbroken. Yeah. It's all, I'm getting like some irony here too. It's almost like somebody refused to let you on a show or somebody refused to let you do something. Maybe because you weren't big enough, you weren't popular enough, and you actually end up becoming more popular than them. All right, so I'm getting like something ironic like that. Like maybe somebody had a TV show they wouldn't let you on or they wouldn't include you, but like, you know, a couple weeks later, you end up, they end up working for you or you end up being the star of that TV show or you end up being more popular than they are, or you actually end up being an actor and they get booted out. I'm getting like something really ironic here, all right? So let's get a spell card for you, Scorpion, all right? It says letting go, yeah, let it go, all right? Yeah, we have trust. Okay, so I feel like someone's gonna give you a handout, all right? I feel like somebody wants to do something special for you in particular. I'm getting some special type of treatment. All right, go ahead and take it, do it. All right. I feel like there's nothing to be afraid of here. I'm getting this on, I'm getting only good news can come from this with the justice card and the sun. This is a solution. This is really good for your career, your name, your reputation, your legacy. All right. This is really good for you. I'm getting take the opportunity. I'm getting I'm getting even if somebody is doing this to boost their career, I feel like it's going to boost your career too. All right, there's nothing for you to be afraid of here. All right, you don't have to be nervous or scared or anything like that. You're doing, you're going to do fine. All right, it says look to the stars. Yeah, so I'm getting, look in your birth charts. Check your north node. If you have north node in Gemini, Jupiter in Gemini, anything you do online, you're going to succeed at, especially if you have Jupiter in Gemini, Jupiter in your third house. If you have Saturn in Gemini, Saturn in Sagittarius, Anything on TV, radio, broadcasting, YouTube, blogging, you're, that is a success for you, okay? So I'm getting, first of all, if it scares you, it's a part, it's probably a part of your destiny, all right? If it's, if it's frightening, that means go for it, okay? If you feel fear in your gut, it's, that's, it's, probably, it's probably your north node, all right? Very uncomfortable feeling when the north node shows up. You get, we get very afraid and we tense up and we get nervous and we get scared, all right? That's how you know, just go for it, just do it, all right? Okay. Face your fears. And even if somebody is lying to you, that's on them, shit, that's, they lost. Yeah, we said we have masculine and we have feminine. Yeah, so I'm getting you're learning how to balance the best of both worlds. You're learning how to balance your feminine with your masculine. I'm getting you're also learning the importance of role, role playing or the, important, the importance of being both or the importance of the feminine. All right, so I think I pulled all, oh no, we have these ones, sorry. Yeah, so I feel like something needs to be balanced. I'm getting there needs to be, uh, there needs to be equal amounts of feminine and masculine in something to make something work. All right, so I feel like, I feel like you have to be okay with sharing the spotlight with women or with men, all right? I feel like in this situation, women are just as good or they're better, just period, it is what it is, tough shit. It says, I find love everywhere I go. It's all around me. Yeah. Okay. So I'm getting you have plenty of support. All right. So I'm getting just go with it. Did I pull this one? Yeah, I did. Okay. But I'm getting, I'm getting a week full of irony, coincidences, ominous events. All right. But I'm getting those that, th that ironic and those coincidences are going to give you clarity. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.